Hi friends, this is Bilal Haider and um, in this lecture I'll be talking about another uh, kind of loop uh, which is called a while loop. The while loop is also used for um, used um, to do some calculations repeatedly and it's uh, it does the same work as the for loop does but it's um, it's um, it's kind of uh, it's kind of different uh, from the for loop and let me show you how how we write it and how it's useful so it's uh, it's uh, it starts with the keyword while and the brackets and the body and unlike for loop um, we only write uh, the condition inside these brackets and nothing else for example um, let's uh, make a variable above here and let's call it price and let's set the price equals 20 and now while the price is less is um, less than or equals to 40 we want to execute this code okay and whatever uh, the code uh, we write inside this uh, this particular function is executed uh, at that <coughs> um, is executed only when this condition um, is true <coughs> whenever this condition um, becomes false this loop terminates and it um, the control jumps out from the loop and start executing the code written below this while loop so let's make an alert statement and let's display the value of price and yeah and also we have to increment the price um, by some value if we uh, won't do this this loop will continue executing uh, for uh, for infinite many times because this condition will become true every time so here the price is 20 and when this um, function gets executed when we attach the attach the expiry advisor to the chart it comes here the control comes here and it looks for the condition and it checks whether the condition is true or false the condition 20 is less than or equals to 40 yeah that's true it comes inside the body of the while loop it start uh, it starts executing the code whatever uh, written inside this while loop and then it um, goes back to this uh, this statement right here and it checks whether the condition is true or not and if we um, if you won't place this um, statement right here it will execute the code it will uh, go right here it will check 20 is less than 40 yes that's true execute the code 20 is less than 40 yeah it will continue executing the code infinite many times so we must place some increment or decrement based on the condition we uh, will write here so now we have written price up uh, sorry price plus equals to 2 and that means the next time the price will be 22 and it will check the condition 22 is less than 40 uh, yes it will continue until the price becomes um, greater than 40 so the condition will be false and the loop will terminate so let's uh, compile it and let's test it um, navigator expert advisors 
um, my expert attached to the chart click ok so it started from the 20 increment incremented the price by 2 and continued uh, showing us the results until the price becomes 40 <coughs> when the price uh, uh, was uh, 42 that was not less than or equals to 40 and at that time it it break the loop and it starts uh, it started executing the code written right below it. so we can also do several things inside the for loop for example um, an if else statement can be written inside it if price equals if price equals 30 we can show we can alert price is a lot bigger and right here we can do the same thing plus equals 2 let's com let's compile it and see what we get so it does nothing but only uh, as you know this was the output of previously um, compiled uh, piece of code and this is the output of uh, the code we compiled right now so when the price was equals 30 it alerted us price is a lot bigger and for the rest of values it did not show us anything because um, we did not specify uh, to do when uh, the price equals um, something else so that's all for the lectures thank you for watching